Heyo, I'm Tata Farone and welcome back to Port Taylor. As you can see, I went ahead and added the park. This is Port Taylor Park. It's about something like 15k simoleons. Technically, Savion has not paid for it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and allow the people of Port Taylor to use it anyway. And then next time we play him, we'll just have him buy it then, because he can definitely afford it now. <laughs> So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and join the Bagley household. And here we are in the Bagley household. And um, Miles is literally sleeping with one eye open. <laughs> and unfortunately, we have Elle passed out standing in the bathroom. I feel so bad that I just left her like this. I'm so sorry, girly. So we see that Elle still has to want to be best friends with Savion. She has a want to gain a cooking skill point and to reach cooking level three and of course she still has that want locked in to have a baby which is due any moment now miles has the want to be bffs with savion and to have three best friends to meet someone new and he still wants that silver sales talent badge which i'm thinking about changing is he close to having a third best friend i wonder well, he's, he seems really close to being best friends with Savion. I can't remember the requirement for it, but I'm going to lock that in instead, actually. This might be a little while before he can get a silver talent badge. Because this one's worth more anyway, as you can see. But anyways, let's go ahead and hit play so we can see the new baby when, when it's ready. Alright, looks like she might be ready. Having the baby in the bathroom. I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm worried that it's going to mess up the um, cinematic so we're just gonna bring her into the living room instead <laughs> so we can make sure the um the walls don't get in the way <laughs> i'm sorry for laughing at you l but that was killer <gasps> oh my god guys we had twins Oh my god, we're having twins! <laughs> Her face. He said, God, that plum bob is bright. Oh, baby! Little baby booty! That's so precious. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to behind the name, baby name generator. So we can go ahead and get these babies named. Alright guys, so I have the names. Their names are Jillian Bagley and Rita Bagley. Oh, little baby girls. So we just have a couple of naked babies in the living room. So we're gonna go ahead and buy their baby clothes so I can show them to you. We buy the baby clothes with this bear. Alright, so both of the babies now have their outfits on. Here is little Jillian and here is little Rita. So I guess the next thing to do is to go ahead and get that nursery going so we can get these babies off the floor. Oh, I never even finished putting the wall here.
All right, guys. So honestly, not sure how I'm feeling about it. I'm honestly kind of burnt out. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I might change it at some point. I might just leave it the way it is. I don't know. Let's, let's check on Elle's knee. She's still extremely tired. Yeah, I'm sure that your comfort is very low. All right, she's about to start feeding the babies. So we're gonna have Miles. Is he even awake? Uh, he's still asleep. How much longer? Uh, he's afraid to get up. So we're gonna have Miles get on up out of bed to serve a breakfast of... Let's just do cereal. So Miles has a one to ask a sim on the date. Well, I kind of don't want them to leave the house since the babies are literally like just born. Still has one eye open. Ah, Miles wants to throw a party too. Interesting. Well, we're gonna keep his B BFFs want with they. Ah. Uh. All right. Um, go ahead and get those babies off the floor. Who are you holding now? That's Jillian. So go ahead and put Jillian in this crib, and then put Rita in that one. And then you can come eat breakfast, too. Oh, really? Okay, hold on. So that's in the way, apparently. Well, we're gonna sell it for now. Because they're gonna end up expanding the house pretty soon, honestly, anyway. So go ahead and put Jillian in that crib for me. And then put Rita in this one, and then you can go eat your cereal. Alright, so Miles has already finished his. Not hungry anymore. So we're gonna have him wash his bowl. And then we'll let him play one of those new video games he bought last time. I can't believe I remembered that. <laughs> Getting the babies in the crib. Now Elle can go enjoy her cereal. How about you play Bussin' Out? Wait, is the TV broken? Hold on. I'm gonna have you repair that. Please be careful. Whoa. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Except for his face getting stuck in the TV, but you know. <laughs> Elle wants to buy... You're not getting a makeover station, I'm sorry. And you're not getting a car. You can do- <gasps> Oh! Don't die from that. Woo! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Miles. Um, new plan. Step over here for me. New plan. We're just going to buy a new TV and sell that one. Because, oh my god. Alright, let me try to put this TV back in place. It seems like I didn't snap it to the grid. Um, that seems about right. I don't, I don't know. Ooh, that scared me so bad, guys. That freaking scared the hell out of me. Well, he's hungry again after that, I guess. Well, we're going to get him in the shower because he's burnt. Um... Never mind, they're gonna woohoo instead, even though he literally just got electrocuted to holy oblivion. They're not doing a naked woohoo. Miles said, nah, babe, I'm too bored. I'm too bored to woohoo. <laughs> Sorry, yo. I guess you gotta let him play video games first. He's actually not all that stinky. Well, go ahead and play Bussin' Out. And L, why don't you... Oh, you already want it. Cool. Well, you need a shower. You can go ahead and shower, okay? Man, that is so nostalgic. I haven't played Bustin' Out in forever. I have it. I have the PlayStation 2. I have the Sims Bustin' Out. I just don't play it. I don't know why. I guess I keep forgetting that I have it, because my PlayStation is not, like, in sight. And if something is not, like, like in sight, I forget it exists. Yeah, I cheer my sim look good, too. <laughs> Ooh, that's so nostalgic. That little intro. Yes, sir. Alright, we have a screaming baby. Alright, looks like Jillian needs a diaper change. So we're gonna go get on that. Oh, looks like Rita does, too. So we're gonna be changing a couple diapers real quick.
I'm getting there, little Rita. Then put Julian in the crib when you're done, please. So we can change Rita. Good job, Miles. Gain enthusiasm in games and a logic point. Oh, they had twins. That is so sweet. So that means we have three babies. And Abby is pregnant, so we can look forward to that too. All oh, the cereal went bad. They could have eaten that. It went bad fast. All right, we're going to have Elle clean that up when she puts Rita in. Okay, so she's doing that now. All right, Miles, how's your fun looking now? All right, it's looking good. So you guys are going to have to go ahead and get lunch. I'll have Elle prepare that. Serve a lunch of... Um, do SpaghettiOs. That's kind of iconic for you guys. What did my mom say Elle was putting in that SpaghettiOs in the second episode? She said, um, onion powder, garlic powder, and Lowry's? Something like that. <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly don't know what Lowry's is, but... I would put some garlic and onion powder in it. Ooh, yeah. I'd honestly probably be weird to throw some Cajun in there, too. I, I, I put Cajun like anything. Alright. Oh, is it snowing? Well, we're gonna have him eat that. Oh, it is snowing. Isn't that something? Having a nice cold last day of fall then, huh? Eating up that SpaghettiOs, except this time they are sitting together and eating it. So I've sent both Miles and Elle to their businesses this round. So it's okay if they both stay home. I'm gonna let them both stay home. This is about to be 2 p.m. anyway, it's no point sending them to work. Well, really, he could ask Elle on a date and they just have their date at home. Yeah, we can do that. So after they eat, I'm gonna um, have them ask her. The way they're just eating and flinging their food into each other's bowls. Ugh. <laughs> that laugh. Alright, Miles, I know what you want to do. Go ahead and... Do they have to... No, they can do it from here. Ask on date. It's going to be an awkward angle. Alright, they're on a date. So he got that want. I know their date has just started, but I'm gonna let them tend to their motives. Wait, oh, they're about to um try again to do that casual sit. So, I guess that's one way to start a date. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, let's get them some privacy. Honestly, I cannot believe they had twins. Oh my god, it's exciting. They're due to become toddlers. Um, round two, rotation two, I believe. No, wait. No, they're gonna turn one at... Well, since they were born before 6 p.m., they're gonna turn one at um 6 p.m. I might let them stay being one years old, even though technically they should be zero. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But if I do decide to let them stay at one years old, then they'll be turning into toddlers at the start of round two. Alright, so they're done. Oh, she's thinking about her man. Shoes. No cruise or boat, no snow. I don't get it. <laughs> I can't think of anything for that. Alright, well, she really wants to, um, feed the baby, so we're gonna let her feed the baby. Is Miles taking a nap? Oh, I guess the woohoo made them tired. <laughs> Time to feed the baby. Little baby. But yeah, when she's done doing that, she's gonna put Rita back in the crib and return to her date that she only has three hours left in. But it's at least a good date. It's at least a good date. I didn't even make them clean their dishes. It's fine. I should probably make them put these SpaghettiOs away so they don't have to just go to waste. Yeah, Julian and Rita just turned one. 
counterattack. All right, so is, is Elle still feeding the baby? Yes, yeah, she is still feeding the baby. All right, she wants to talk to Miles, who is about to clean the dishes. It's a good thing I just put the SpaghettiOs away then. Hopefully they don't go bad as soon as they take them out for leftovers. <laughs> like, that would actually be so tragic. This date sucks. You gotta do everything when you're on your date. All right, now she wants to kiss him. I know, uh, I'll let you pee right after this. Just make out with him real quick. That was their first make out then. They only have an hour left in their date. They might still make it to great date. So Elle's gonna go pee real quick, and then we can hopefully get to great date. We're most likely not gonna make it to dream date, but... Alright, so Miles is gonna play busting out while he waits for L to finish peeing. He wants to give him a back rub and hug him. We can go for a hug. Alright, so now we got more time in our date because we got pushed into great. She wants to woohoo up Miles. We'll go ahead and let them do that. And their undies. But yeah, two woohoos in one day. <laughs> Alright, so now she has a one to have a dream date with Miles. I'm not sure they're going to make it to that. Because they only have a couple hours left in their date. Oh, snap. We got two wolves. The one is the leader of the pack. I'm pretty excited for... For the next rotations because this is this rotation four when we play these households again it's gonna be round two so that means we're gonna get to roll ros again i'm excited all right they're done woohooing they're almost at dream day they might actually make it all right so miles wants to play with l dance with l and entertain l so we're gonna go ahead and give her a little tickle after they caress i guess with ACR, they do it every time after a woohoo. <laughs> if y'all go ahead and get a dream date, then y'all will get a nice boost to your knees. I'll probably still send you to bed because it's late, but you know. Alright, so he also wants a dream date. And he wants to appreciate Elle, so we're gonna admire her real quick. It's probably the fastest one. Okay. Now he wants to entertain her. So let's go ahead and do a joke. Alright, planet. Flag. Money. Alright, they're probably not going to make it to dream date then. They almost did. Alright, so I see Jillian has a problem. Elle's already on it, I think? No, nah, she went to bed. Hold on, buddy. Come change your daughter's diaper, please. They both went in the bed like they don't hear their baby crying. Get out of the bed. Come take care of your kid, please. Oh, she fell asleep. Oh. So she's asleep, and I guess I can't wake her up. They both need their diapers changed. Well, their day is about to end, like, right now. He got right back in the bed. That was a great time. You're so much fun. I can hardly wait until next time. I'm glad you guys enjoyed your date. Y'all might as well just get back into bed. Well, the ba one of the babies woke up. No, no, oh, he's just, I'm just gonna let him sleep. But yeah, Elle is bringing some flowers for him. And I'm going to have her change their diapers before they go back to sleep. And let's go ahead and put these flowers somewhere. It's their first date flowers, so I want them to keep them. Alright, so I just stuck them in here along with these two modded objects. And it's also good because that was just empty this whole time. <laughs> I guess Elle had a fear to change her diaper. Kinda inevitable. Sorry, girly. So then go ahead and put Jillian back in her crib after that. And change Rita's diaper. The rotation's about to end in 40 some minutes. So we'll probably get her back into bed just in time, maybe. She's really hungry. 
Hopefully she don't starve while she's asleep. He's hungrier than Miles is. It would be crazy if she got pregnant again, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, go ahead and put Rita back in her crib. And now you can get back in bed. Thinking about her husband. Yep, she got into bed literally right in time. Oh, guys, I forgot to make them pay their taxes. Um, who's more tired? Alright, I'm gonna let Elle stay in bed. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get Miles out of bed so he can pay the taxes. I forgot to do it. <laughs> so to calculate the taxes, let me grab my phone for it. So it's their family funds, which is 194610 plus their lot value, which is 2346. So that's... 217.8k we're gonna multiply that by 10 percent whoa so their tax is 21.7k all right so now what we're gonna do is grab this thing all right so now we're gonna add that amount to it there we go that's it right there so then we're gonna choose a uh, that mayor Savion westbrook and now we send it Paying taxes on your draws. There we go. The taxes have been paid. So now we're gonna go ahead and let them get back into bed. All right. So now let's go ahead and update that spreadsheet. Okay. So they just had their fifth rotation. Both Miles and L turned 23. And we need two more rows. All right, both the baby's last names are Bagley, Jillian, and Rita. I just got my nails done the other day. It's so hard to type now. <laughs> They're both their daughters. It is round one, rotation four. Dang it. All right, uh, what did I, what did I write for Skylar? All right, I, write, I wrote born, born, no. Right now they're one years old. I don't know if I'm going to change it or not. I honestly really don't know. All right, I'm about to look at this. All right, Jillian is a Taurus, Taurus gang. And this is strange since we're twins, but Rita is actually an Aquarius. What did I write for him? All right, I wrote grow up, obviously. Grow up and grow up. And I guess for these things, I wrote in a non-applicable. Ugh. Non-applicable. I gotta get used to these nails. All right, now I gotta find out their one true hobbies. That's so cute. It's games for them both. <laughs> Just like their dad. All right, so now we change these two to... Was it this color? Where did my custom color go? Oh, they took it out because it's not in here anymore, I'm assuming. That's annoying. We'll have to make a new lavender color again. This is, like, actually lavender, I think. My vision's pretty blurry, so it's kind of hard to tell, but that looks pretty close to lavender. Well, the shade of lavender I like is a little bit darker than that, but... But yeah, here we go. Spreadsheet is now done. And here is the Bagley household's round one portrait. And that is it for this episode of Port Taylor. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe so you know when to join us again for the next one. Bye!